Welcome to Sultry Starcast. Lift off in three, two, one. Hello and welcome to Sultry Starcast. I'm Evie B. I'm Jasmine Ray. And we are here today with Zoe K. What's up? Hello. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> um, so what were you doing just before this? Well, uh, today? Yeah. Well, actually, I couldn't do much because I was at my friend's house and I had to wait for a parcel. Okay. You know, when they're like, can you be home? Oh, a package. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They asked you to stay home because then you had to sign for it. Mm -hmm. Because it was a guitar, so. Oh, that's pretty important. Yeah. And I have one job. Yeah. And guess what? It didn't. No. (laughs) You missed it. Well, what happened was because... I couldn't, there was no coffee in the house, I was tired. Right. And then I started watching The Office, and then I fell uh, asleep. I did, yeah. I fell asleep, and his next door neighbor was banging yeah. on the side of yeah. the door. Yeah. And then the phone's ringing me, yeah. and he's like, You have one job. Luckily, his neighbor was yeah. out, so. So, his neighbor, neighbor got, got it. His neighbor got it, thank God. He's like, Where were you? But then again, I think so, he goes, You have one job. And I said, Well, guess what, man? I have like 20 jobs to do today, but I can't do them because I have to wait here for your guitar. <laughs> It's a very stressful thing, and, it, and then it was like three times every time I heard yeah, something. Yeah, 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 of course. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then he says, he goes, is that... it's so quiet. Oh. You can't even... It's no. so frustrating. But hey, you hung but out. Now. And now. And they why. got the package, so in yep. here. Yeah, so, so everyone's happy. Everyone, 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 everyone. That's right, that's right. Uh, so a little update for those of you watching and don't know, we're currently in New Orleans, Louisiana. Yes, we mm-hmm. are. And that's where we met Zoe. Yes. yes. I think the first time I saw you was on stage the at Mason. the Mason. Yeah. yeah. We ran it. It was pouring down rain. Oh, that's right. And we that's ran right. inside. And then we, we, saw, yes. we saw this beautiful creature playing with some of yes. our favorite yes. musicians. Yes. It, was so. like, it was like one of those moments where the clouds engulf yeah. your whole view and like the seductive energy like and the stage like, like pops up yeah. and just feels yeah. real silent and the girl scream jumps yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. standing in front of you was that the jump seat for yeah. real? yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sexy until you have to go to the toilet. Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Especially if the lock doesn't work. Which is oh, 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 oh. like yeah. I know they open it up and you're just staring yeah. yeah. at it. One second and then you have to take it off. Yeah. <laughs> like naked yeah. like a puppy toilet. No, like. in the, yeah, exactly. And and then they you're like, Can you hand me toilet paper? Oh, <laughs> because there's probably none. Okay. Yeah, especially in New Orleans. Oh, right. oh yeah. But uh you know, whatever, we recover and then um <laughs> yeah, so, it's very funny. If someone does, it's always funny that if someone does, like, I always get embarrassed. Like, it's weird. I get this, like, reverse embarrassment. Like, I get embarrassed and I'm like, it's all right. Oh, like, no, are you yeah. okay? You're okay. Yeah, like, because when they yeah. have their face, when they realize what they've done, yeah. they're like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, it's all good. It's all good. And, like, I actually get, like, the embarrassment. For the very yeah. empathetic. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. too much energy. Yeah, yeah. What is going to yeah. just have explosion? <laughs> right. Embarrassment exactly. on all sides. <laughs> exactly. So. Um, outside of the bathroom <laughs> and onto the stage. <laughs> <laughs> Good segue. <laughs> um, so, what you were performing originals yeah. mostly with that band that we saw at Mason. Yeah. Um, is that your usual group? Yeah. Well, I'm still because I've only got I got back into town about four months ago, so I'm still kind of testing the waters and seeing uh-huh. what what's the best fit for me, but. Uh-huh. You know, also financially, it's just like I'm kind of doing more low key gigs at the moment so I can start, you know, getting my grind a bit right, better. Right, so just, you know, too many mouths to feed. So right. I just like being a. Uh, but yeah, like I do like playing with those guys, but um, I've been doing a lot of like duo gigs and take it. You played a duo gig last night high. with um, Ben Booker. Yeah, yeah. Right? How that was, did that go? It was actually really good. Like, you know, Ooh. BMC on a Monday afternoon can be a bit of a touch and go. Right, so. sure. And, um,. <laughs> But he, it's, uh, they had this, this woman came in for a birthday and they were like, hello. Sand. That's all you need is one birthday, one bridal party, like bachelor party. And I was worried because we were only duo form and we were, um, yeah, so I'm like, oh, you know. That's uh, early. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 If you're doing your thing, you're going to capture whoever walks in that spot. I was like, please dance. Yeah. I was like, yeah. get him to dance yes. or something. Yes. So, yeah. Nice. That works out. That's yeah. Nice. Cool. So you just got back four months ago. Yeah. From 
So I've been, because I've always, I've been coming and going from New Orleans since like about 2014. And, okay, um, okay. Yeah, uh, but I just never, I could only kind of stay three months at a time, but now I've got my artist visa, so I'm here for three years. Woo! So it was about 10 months or, no, probably a little bit longer oh. uh, since I've last been back, but yeah. um, I just had to kind of save the money and go and like even just getting all the visa stuff together took a while. And, yeah. and I released my album in Australia, so that was yeah. a big, you know, because that's where, I, that's my stomping ground, so mm -hmm. that was a... The thing being an independent artist and you know running my own my own show. So and then did you throw a big show there? Oh yeah, yeah. Did you have a band there? Yeah. So you, did you record it there? Um, I actually recorded half there and half here. Oh, yeah. that's so good. Yeah, so I got some good players on there. Like I got oh, like awesome. Yeah, I've got Terence Houston on the drums. And hey. On the bangy bang. We we're just talking about him because he's playing with. Uh, George Porter every Monday. Uh, yeah, Maple Leaf. yeah, he's killing me. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. Oh, that's so awesome. Who else did you have on it? Um, I had uh, Mike Bass. He plays bass for Trombone Shorty, and he like helped produce the track. Oh, cool. And um, and then Raja Casas. He, um, he plays like with Andy Ballas, and he's a lot. He's a lot in and out of town, and yeah. Like, yeah, he's from New York, but, and uh, Shay Pierre. Oh, kids. yeah. I think he's so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I had like my girl, like Nika, come in and just do some like uh, back and vocals. Ooh. And I think I got 18 on a, a track, but. Oh, right. Cool. Yeah, so a little Mills and Pot of friends. So. Yeah. Yay. That is nice. Yeah. Uh, any future plans for recording? Well, I'm actually like recording. On a year. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? I'm like, you know, when it's like the year anniversary and you're like, but I'm happy, like, it's hard for me because I released it in Australia, but it's like, I haven't really released it that hard here. Right, you that can makes do a release sense. in the US. Yeah, yeah. And that's yeah, what I've yeah. got to, yeah, because it's still, like, not too long between drinks, but I can't leave it any longer. And um, so that's why I'm really going to get it messed up together. You were saying that you released it on 420 last yeah, year. Which yeah, Which is a yeah. coincidence because we released <laughs> yeah. our album on 420 as that's well. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> And did you do it at 420? Did you actually we like did. the title? No, oh, show was at 8 p.m. Oh. But it was a laser dome show in, C show in Seattle, and uh, oh. so they, you know, it was a lot of us. There was multiple things that led us to to that day, yeah. and then just decide on it for for that reason. But then we just went with it, and yeah. it was it couldn't have been more. Yeah, Perfect. like a laser dome, like a laser light show so to our music awesome. for our release on 420 yeah. in Seattle, where it's completely legal. Yeah, you know, it was like this. That is yeah. awesome. Right. So, yeah, and I'll, I'll coming up on a year. Yeah, I'm. Go I'm actually um stepping outside my comfort zone. Like I love soul, jazz. That's cool, but you know. I'm just gonna say it. Yeah. I love my gays. And my gays are giving me a lot and I'm giving them back something and then yeah, that's in a dance track. Hey. Yeah, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna work on some house music and uh, yeah, with this uh, my friend who's guitar that I nearly didn't yeah. get. Um But he's yeah. got it now, so no big deal. Pardon? He's, he's got, got it now. I know so exactly. no big deal. Maybe. But yeah, he's a he's a good producer. <laughs> he, he's been in New Orleans for a while and well lived here all his life really and um, but he's like real in house music so I'm working on that at the moment which is cool and I've got my, so I've got awesome. my side stuff of my original you know heartfelt like why don't you love me songs but right um, and then sometimes it's time for me yeah exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I've come to notice yeah. as I get older I have to be less self-indulgent have to have that project for it's important you know, for both sides yeah but yeah, because it's even as a performer, like you know, when you like sing a song that's dancing and everyone, you can see the mood change. Yeah, yeah, it's really wonderful. Yeah, it kind of winter, but yeah, so that's what I'm. That's my uh, next thing. <laughs> I was like, I love the gays, and the gays love me. And that's all good. Um, do you find are you are you gigging lately? Yeah. Are you working on other projects? Yeah, like I've um yeah, so I've got that going and then I've got like my uh, my like my own stuff as well, but I had to kind of learn to do that thing of the two different like, you know, you can go on Frenchman and you can play your songs and you can, you know, meander to the tourists, but then you should keep your other stuff for your special yeah. things because like they're not gonna really appreciate like <clears throat> It's some there's the set, there's a the Frenchman be, set, yeah. and then there's the yeah. actual, yep. Yeah, so, um, and I've actually, um, I don't know if I should say, like, I have, I've actually just, I haven't, like, it's kind of weird, 
I haven't signed up because I haven't signed them yet because I've just been a bit hopeless. Mm -hmm. Mardi Gras. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm going to be working with All In Touring as well, which is a new um, touring company that's um, being made from um, the lecturers at Loy Loyola. Uh -huh. Loyola. 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 I can't say that. Loyola. It's a weird. It's Loyola. 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 I don't know, maybe this might so maybe I think it sounds a bit weird. Like, you're saying, you're saying, yeah, you're saying, no, yeah, yeah. Like, um, like. yeah, so they're, and they're really, they, they seem that their, their aim is just to get like original music and get, you know, outside of New Orleans as well. So in May, June, I'm looking to kind of escape the humidity and yeah. doing like a, everybody does it. Yeah, it's yeah. Funny. So yeah, that's good. And yeah, they've got some good artists on their rosters. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's, which was fun. It's, it's always nerve wracking, like when you, you know, I had to have the meeting and they were like, you know, big chair, big board chair, like right. board, in t board table and whatever right. it's called, uh, boardroom kind of vibes, but right. they were really lovely. Right. Yes. Oh, that's super exciting. I, I actually asked them, I was like, well, what's mm -hmm. five things that you think special about me? Uh huh. <laughs> Which is good at a question to yeah. ask. Why? Because you always think, like, when you're trying to like, yeah. deal with people, yeah. like, even when I got my album distributed in Australia and even with them, it was so nerve wracking because you're like, as an artist, you always think like, I need you, I need you. But they need us just as much. That's so, true. We've been talking about yeah. a lot lately is like sort of the facade of what's actually helpful and what's not. What do you mm -hmm. actually need help with and what can you just do on your mm -hmm. own and what will happen naturally yeah. when you progress on your own in a certain way. Yeah. So always sort of staying ahead of that way. Yeah. The natural order of how everyone else is doing it. Like, it's good to do yeah. those things too, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But exactly. also uh, being sharp on, like, what else? What else can we do? Yeah. yeah. And that's the thing, it's like music, especially, like, it's, it's just like, and most of it's, it's, it is business, yeah. you know, and that's what one thing that, like, since relocating to New Orleans and being reintroduced to the bloody lifestyle. Yeah. It's just like, you know, Australia, Australians say bloody a lot, like, yeah. oh, bloody hell, like, right, but right. you're not actually gorish or anything, right. like, just, you know that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> not like a bloody lifestyle, not like, like, you know, around blood or anything. Totally. But, um, yeah, so sometimes it can be, it's like, like, I don't know how you guys feel, like, being back in New Orleans, is that, do you find it harder to be productive? It depends. It, it does depend. It, it's never the way that you exactly, I've been back, like, five times now. Uh -huh. It's never yeah. exactly the way I thought it would be, yeah. but it, you have to just work with the day-to-day, -day, the reality of what is day-to-day -day because that's where the magic comes from. Yeah. Like that, the amazing things to gain about being in the city mm -hmm. um, is being a part of it and yeah. that's just going with the flow. You yeah. just have to. And as you can have your own agenda, mm -hmm. but what's what you really get out of the city is something deep that's like not necessarily yeah what you had planned for yourself yeah. or whatever. Um, but in some ways, yes. In other ways, I... yeah. That's that's the the double edged sword because you want to you want to go out and you want to be inspired. Being inspired means going out, seeing shows, and and you know embracing the what community. Yeah, it's kind of important to do that. But yeah. But yeah. then but then it's like. And then it's like, does it make you counterproductive? Because like, if you go out all like, then like, you're not working on music. Yeah, like or practicing. Or like, or, you know, are you yeah, are you not are you shedding or are you or not, yeah, producing so or it's whatever. Just, yeah, hard to find that. Like when I came back, it was hard to find that. Um, or was it hard to be honest? My body told me in like the third week, like you can't be partying like a sixteen year old. So you just don't have it in you anymore. Because right. in Melbourne, I had like such a structure. I was right. like, get up even before my album was. You know, I was working as well in the day, uh -huh. so I'd get up at like six a.m. and yeah. do my like email my press release out just to go and get this buzz for my album launch and um, yeah, and I had such a structure and then and now it's like oh okay right it's a good life though I'm not complaining but no. it's, just, <laughs> no. it's really it's just it's hard to find the balance yeah. I mean in particular like for me because I do more than. I do like what you do, where you do the French Foot Street stuff, mm -hmm. and then you, um, I also do jazz, and and I get really bored when I do the same stuff all the time, yeah. so I'm constantly learning new music, and when I find myself practicing and learning other people's music, it takes away from spending the time to write and yeah. create on my own, and it goes like really back and forth, um, and so like 
it's just important to like find those times where you just say no. But like, yeah, I've talked to a lot of musicians in the city, yeah. and they literally write in their calendars: "Do not book a show on this day. That is a day yeah. for you to stay home and rest and shed and um, work on writing or whatever." Yeah. Um, because that's one thing that we, we struggle with because we're always just trying to get whatever shows we can all the yeah. time. Or just show up to everyone else's show. Or show up to everyone else's show. And yeah. so if you like just schedule like, no, this is my time, this is me, like yeah. I think that's really helpful. That is good actually. Yeah. Or say Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday are my Frenchman days and all my other days are not Frenchman days. Yes. Right. Now if you end up there, okay, we have to <laughs> which you want to mentally yeah. present while there because that's the thing too is when you're playing on a street that's like that that you're seeing the same musicians over and over again. Yeah. And then, you know, within a given weekend, you become like a musical superstar if yeah. you're playing at multiple venues. Yeah. It becomes a small world in yeah. that area. Good to get out of. But there's so much yeah. more in the city, too. Like, yeah. It's true. more than Frenchmen. Yeah. So. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Like, my favorite place to go is on Thursday night at Vaughn's. I love neighborhood bars. Corey I've Henry. Been there. I love Vaughn's. You haven't been no. there? No. Have, have you not been to Corey Henry? No, I haven't. <laughs> We're going this Thursday. You got a gig up? I do. Damn. What time? What time? My gig's at ten. Oh, ten starts at ten thirty. Well, she doesn't have a gig. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not bragging. Not bragging or anything, but I have like a a fitting because I'm gonna be on a um a runway soon. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, now you are. Well, it's actually it's actually to raise money for the New Orleans Musician Clinic. That's yeah. When is that? It's on uh, Friday, so this yeah, Friday. Yeah, okay. so it's at yeah, it's at the Helen Wolf and um, yeah, and just like this uh, local designers, and they're just putting this benefit on. So. That's amazing. Yeah, so let's go off the foot too. Right. It's so funny. It's like it's not it's not that kind of you know. It's just like people that you know, like musicians of New Orleans, like Derek Freeman's gonna be in it, I think as well, and it's just so um yeah, that'll be good. And like I said to Tiffany, who's organizing it, I read into her, I was like, oh, I've been fasting. She's like, you idiot, it's not like that. I said, I know, I know. <laughs> Great. Fashion. Um, so. We're going to cheers and take a short break. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, Sultry Starcast Yay. featuring Zoe K. Uh-huh. Wait, you only go by Zoe K or yeah. people know you by your last name? Oh, no, no we don't. How do you even say your last name? Um, it's Klimzook. But, you know, but you feel free to make it sound sexy. I like Klimzook. Klimzook. Zoe Klimzook. But it's actually, um, yeah, I was just so sick of spelling it all the time from my yeah. childhood, so I'm like, no, it's just one K. K. The end. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's it. I mean, E V K. Yeah, yeah. Zoe K. Yeah. And I don't even use my last name. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we got a BMC. No, I, I'm doing a gig coming up with these uh, very, very fine women. Do you really know them? Oh, yeah, so fine lady. Yeah. I see where we're going. Yeah. Yes, it's at the Frenchman Hotel. Frenchman Hotel rooftop. Rooftop. Mm-hmm. It's for this series that uh, I put on, and I, as in Jasmine, right, uh, called mm-hmm. Siren Series. Mm-hmm. And it's um, once a month. This month we have two because the one last month got canceled due to the rain. Um, so we're lucky enough to have two Siren Series in one month. And the first one will be featuring Zoe K. Yes. Feline. Feline with Jasmine, right? Right. And, um,. This other wonderful songwriter who does a lot of like Boston awesome music, Kaya Nicole. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. Yeah. good night. That is so exciting. I hope the weather is like this. But we've been having amazing. Oh, weather. it's gonna be amazing, I hope. Yes. Oh, yeah. When it's good, it's good. And there's always food, mm-hmm. yeah. and you just walk right up. Uh, pre pre show hot tub party, or post show hot tub party. Oh, no, right. they're pre the the Yeah, so they have a hot tub. Like, I was just being, the last time I was being conscientious of how much glitter I put in the hot tub. So it was like I was glittered after, but not before, so before I went to the hot tub. Oh. After is when I really wanted to like have the nice... I'm just going to do it and just put my head in the water. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would just be like, germs. Like, I'm not actually like one of these kind of... Oh, so you'd be on, like, by, on the sidelines, or no. Um, um, uh, or no. You would go to the into the pool. Into the hot tub. Depending who was in it with it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're in the pool. Yeah, I'm definitely. Like, you know, you know, we're we're together together the pool. Pool. Yeah, maybe Kaya. We'll play music, probably. Yeah. yeah, exactly. We'll just hang out yeah. for a second and. Yeah. 
have a new sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that sounds good. Yeah. Okay, well, so that's happening um, on the third, the third of March, and then we'll all play music Yay. and um, have a really good time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually, um, I'm also getting together, I've got a uh, gig coming up at the Dragon's Den at the end of March as well. I'm getting together, I'm doing like, I'm finally going to do this comedy concept that I have. I don't know if you'll see on Facebook, like some, everyone's always like, you should get in comedy, you should get in comedy. Right, you're hilarious. And sometimes I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm doing it. Okay. Well, you know what, let's, sure. let's make that money. Yeah, let's <laughs> do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's why, yeah, I'm going to do it. And I'm, yeah, so I just confirmed that yesterday, so that's a new thing that I'm Wow. Just, I'm excited. I think it could just be one of those things that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say, yep, I've got this, I've got some material, some songs I've worked on. I've got a lot of content <laughs> to choose from, like yeah. some self-deprecating content. So um did I say that right? Yeah. Self-deprecating content. Okay, yeah. I wasn't do you know no, if I, no, I didn't know if I thought you said food. something else. Yeah. <laughs> But um, yeah. Like, back. No, so are you doing music and comedy? Then? Yeah, but yeah, I, yeah. It's, yeah, it's not going to be one of those like you know when you get no, like, cabaret. I mean, I'm actually there's, the, yeah. there's a there's a comedian trying yeah. to do a comedy set at with music, and then there's a musician yeah. playing their set with extra talent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which exactly. is I think more along what. Yeah, because even mean? when I I told the idea to one of the guys, he's like, oh yeah, we can get out a friend, and I'm like, but we. Like, maybe you could invite him, you could do a duo, but I'm like, he's like, we're not the same, we're not of the same realm. Not saying that, like, anyone's better, just different humans. And sure. Like, he's right. more like, hey, so, and then I said to a girl, you know, that kind of, like, slapstick right. kind of mm -hmm. comedy. Right. But mine's probably going to be a bit more crass than... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, awesome. yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, to try and more people. Because so, you're hilarious. So <laughs> why not, yeah. Yeah. So there you have it. Um, yeah. The new comedy set to be soon. Yeah. Well, you know, I just in New Orleans, hopefully. Yeah, who knows? My thought maybe be like she, she told us just now, but yeah. You know, I just thought you know it's an extra little thing to keep my mind. I was because you know do you ever get worried that you're like not utilizing all your talents? Yes. Like most right, creative yeah. types have like other things like yes. you know uh, you know so you, that's what I just think. Yeah. Especially something that's such a personal thing. It's like. Well, and then it'll make everything. Comedy is a way to release yeah. your anxiety and and tell truths. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. That really yeah. That's why I love that. Like, yeah. You can talk about real Honest. serious stuff, right. and people will be like, you make them laugh, but then you make them think. Like, yeah, right. which is really beautiful. Yeah. yeah, and then you move on, and it doesn't. Yeah. and then you can let go of whatever yeah. it is mm -hmm. that was bothering you. Yeah, bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, which then, when you're a musician too, can you can be healed from as well. So yeah, definitely. Both sides of the coin. Nothing like it when you do a gig with a good sound guy, and then you're like, oh, I'm uh, sick. <laughs> Doesn't make a difference. Uh, yeah. Thank you for not as yeah. making me ask for no more reverb. Thank, <laughs> thank, thank you for oh, making me not tell you to turn up or down my mind. Yeah. Exactly yeah. for everything. Yeah. For every five yeah. minutes of every song. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, we are then wrapping up Sultry Starcast, but yeah, want to make sure me. that you can um, have your music accessible to anyone who wants to find it. So it's on Spotify, it's OK. Yeah. Exactly. iTunes? Yeah, it's, iTunes. On, it's on all, as well as even on Tidal and the other. Um, it's because I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a late bloomer too. Right, right. But luckily, the distribution people in Australia, they took care of all that, but they went like, like we Deezer, De like other places, I don't even know. So you can literally get it anywhere you want. Oh, like, all of it. But yeah, good. Um, so it's I don't good. even know where. I didn't even know they existed. Some of them, I'm like, I've heard of that. <laughs> Hence why it was a good idea for me to get it distributed. Yeah, it's exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, looking forward to seeing you on March. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Thanks for having me. Yes. Cheers. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. This has been Sultry Starcast. Have a cosmic day.